This is the reason why D5 Render is dominating the ArcViz industry. It's made possible with the improvements and new features inside their latest version 2.7. For instance, we got the upgraded D5 Global Illumination, accelerated rendering speed, optimized grass, extensive asset library, new AI tools, and my favorite, the D5 Scatter tool. Well, to some extent, the real reason in my opinion is that they actually listen to their end users and provide us with what we need. There are several pain points that are coveted in the ArcViz industry. We can translate them into some commonly asked questions, such as, is it a true real-time rendering? Is the entry barrier expensive? Is it free? Is it great for rendering animation? Do I need to use a different software to access assets, such as landscaping? Does it have any automation tools and features that use AI? Are the new features and improvements substantial or just average? To be more specific, we asked for more accurate indirect lighting, refined shadows, and better reflections that are consistent from screen preview towards render output. They delivered. We told them that we want faster rendering speeds. The D5 team took action. My old and trusty laptop can now fully render animations without even crashing. We demanded a new and improved grass material template. We wanted it to be more lifelike and comes with varied height values. Again, they made it happen. We requested for an all-in-one asset library without the need to use a different software to access assets such as landscaping, so they did. You can quickly fill up your scene with preset grouped vegetation or characters. There's also an option to go inside the group and edit each asset's placement. Low poly assets are also some of the additions in this latest update. We needed new AI tools to assist us with basic tasks, and they went all in. Gone are the days when we had to manually create seamless textures or search hard for high quality texture materials. In this example, we are going to use a specific marble texture. It's not the design intent, but it will be good enough to showcase the capabilities of the new AI tools. There are more AI tools to explore like the text to 3D model and the AI atmosphere match.
And last but not the least, we wanted an easier and more efficient way of creating realistic landscapes regardless of its scale. They actually listened. D5 Scatter Tool is a powerful feature that is fully customizable using the procedural generation method. This means now we can easily create large landscape scenes while having the ability to make changes whenever we want. Let's briefly explore these parameters. First, let's access the scatter tool from the asset button and drop some random pine trees in one of these planes. Now let's play around with some of these parameters and see the changes as we go. The glowing tiles represent the sub-areas and correspond with the active preset texture map. We have a bunch of options to choose from and add our own texture map if we want to. We can adjust the scale, rate, direction, and the collision volume. These parameters are self-explanatory, and I recommend experimenting with different variables until you get your desired output. Next, we have a few more parameters like the density, cluster size, cluster noise, and cluster blur. I suggest playing around with these and see what fits well with your design intent. The seed parameter helps you to quickly generate random formations of your assets. Now if you want to detach individual assets from the rest of the group, all you have to do is double click on that specific asset and select the detach object option. This is easily my new favorite D5 render tool. In my opinion, the real reason why D5 is dominating the ArcViz industry is because they continue to listen to the feedback and suggestions from their end users. You can have all the new features and hot new tricks in the market, but if no one is interested in using them, you'll definitely end up with a mediocre product. Developing an amazing software around its core, the end users, is crucial. This is where D5 outperforms, and as it continues to grow its reach across the ArcViz industry, many will take notice and join the community. So if you want to take D5 Render for a spin, check out the links provided in the description section of this video. If you want to learn more about architectural visualizations, watch this next video right here.